Today I've got a question about the EMF or internal resistance of cells in series and parallel. So this is from the 23rd of April, question two. Now if you've got cells in series, we just add up the individual EMFs. So 1.2 across each of these gives a total of 2.4 volts. And because we've got effectively resistors in series, we're going to add up the total resistance as 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.60 ohms. And if we've got three of them, then that's going to be an EMF of 3.6 volts and 0 0.90 ohms. All straightforward so far. If, however, you have cells in parallel, the EMF for this one is going to be equal to 1.2. That's effectively the voltage between here and here. And again, for part D, even though we have three of them in parallel, their total EMF is still going to be equal to 1.2 volts. However, because they are in parallel, just like when we add up the resistors in parallel, we do 1 over RT is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Effectively, we've got two parallel resistors, and that means that overall combined resistance decreases by a factor of two. So rather than being 0 0.30, that's now going to be equal to 0 0.15 ohms. And when we've got three of them, that's going to be the same as three identical resistors in parallel through a third of the original value, which is 0 0.10 ohms. If you like that question, then I've got plenty more in my daily workout books.